To fly tinsel, you're going to need some wool, and I get my wool at a thrift store. You'll also need some styrofoam, and I use a piece about one foot or 36 centimeters square. I also like it to be thick. This is about three quarters of an inch or one and a half centimeters thick. You'll need a pie pan somewhere around 10 inches in diameter or 25 centimeters. You'll need a styrofoam cup, and it must be styrofoam in order for it to be insulating enough to do this experiment. You'll need some tape, and you'll need some tinsel. So around Christmas time, pay attention and get some of this stuff, which is aluminum-coated mylar. Before we fly the tinsel, we have to build a couple things. I have to add an insulating styrofoam handle to the conducting metal plate. I'll do that by taking three small pieces of tape and taping the styrofoam cup to the metal plate. There we go. The next thing I'll do is I'll tie the tinsel into a little circle. And this can be tricky to work with. There we go. Got a little half of a knot tied there. And, and there we have it, a little tinsel fish. To fly the tinsel, you start by electrostatically charging the styrofoam. We'll take our wool and we'll rub it firmly for 30 seconds. The wool is causing the styrofoam to be negatively charged. When I'm done rubbing, I can test that it's charged by holding it near the hairs on my arm and moving it, or holding it near the hairs on my head and moving it. I can feel the hairs wiggle. The name for that feeling is formication, and that is the name for the feeling of ants crawling on your skin. You can then charge the aluminum plate. You put it on the styrofoam and touch it with your finger. I felt a little spark that time. Lift it up, being very careful not to touch it with any part of your body. Drop the tinsel from a height and get your hand out of the way, and then it flies. The plate is electrostatically charged, and the tinsel has the same charge, so they repel.